warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Well, we haven't had much sunshine the last couple of days, and that's done a little bit of a number on our temperatures, keeping us in the 30s for most of the afternoon. Today, no exception. And now we're adding in the rain showers. A live look with our Merciel Sky Track camera out in Rochelle, looking off to the northwest. You can actually see some of that rain coming down, and that rain is going to continue here as we go through the rest of this evening. In fact, it may pick up a little in intensity over the next couple of hours. For the most part, it is light, but we've got the visibility that's fallen along with some of that fog and the drizzle in many locations. You see a little pink trying to mix in across portions of southwest Wisconsin. Temperatures a little bit further to the north, more in the lower 30s. Now for us tonight, it is going to stay mostly rain as our numbers will remain above the freezing mark. But you can see some of the darker green starting to show up, an indication that the rain becoming a little bit more steady. All of this is tied into a massive low pressure system that sits down across the central plains. So we are going to continue with that rain here as we go through much of this evening as well as into the overnight. The good news, this is not going to last too long into the day tomorrow. And in fact, we may actually end our Thursday with a little bit more sunshine. You already see during the overnight, this is after midnight now getting into tomorrow, some of that more steady rain beginning to break up. But it is during that time that we start to bring in a little bit more cool air. So there could be a couple of wet snowflakes that mix in around sunrise tomorrow. But the biggest impact for that and for anybody to see any of that likely going to stay to our south. In fact, well to the south of us could be some accumulations of snow, but that low pressure system is going to quickly pull away during the day tomorrow, so that'll help dry us out. So by the time we get into the afternoon, things will be much more quiet. Radar wise, wind wise, our winds are really going to increase. In fact, they increase tonight, only getting stronger during the day tomorrow, when in fact we could have peak wind gusts topping 40 to even 45 miles per hour once we're getting towards that noon hour. So that wind direction coming in from the east and northeast, it is going to be a rather windy day. And that's why a wind advisory has been issued for all of northern Illinois, as well as for southern. Southern Wisconsin. That goes into effect tomorrow morning and will last through about 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Now, I mentioned this massive low pressure system. Really good to look at this on water vapor. See that counterclockwise spin? That's that low pressure system moving through uh, parts of Oklahoma. That's bringing severe weather currently in the deep south. They'll have uh, numerous hours here of severe weather, but you see all that moisture lifting up to the north, and that's where we get those scattered rain showers. It's a chilly rain too because those temperatures are in the 30s and we're in the 30s for our weather watchers too across the area starting to see some of those light rain showers move in. Not really going to see the numbers drop off too much from where they are right now. 35 rolling up to 42 for tomorrow but it'll feel more like the 30s because of that wind. Temperatures those guys we're going to warm. We see more sunshine for Friday 60s by the time we head into the weekend. It's a slow climb but we'll take it. Thanks mm -hmm. Candace. Scott's the next to talk sports.